If you have been watching my videos for a while, you know that I picked up the Nike Sock Darts Independence Day. I picked them up off resale, which kind of sucks because I really wanted them. I got the royal blue color, or I don't even know if this is royal blue or maybe sport blue. Um, sport royal, my bad, mixed up the two. Uh, very nice, comfortable shoe. I really love this shoe. But I also wanted the red one. Uh, but I, I mean, there's, I was waiting for them to go down on price, really. But they stayed around 200 mark, 190, which is what I paid for these. And they never really went down too much. The other day, I happened to be on eBay looking around and saw the red pair for 160 with free shipping or best offer. Um, I was texting my girlfriend at the time and showed her. I was like, hey, what do you think? She was like, well, I'll wait on it. And then she sent me a picture that she bought it for me. So that was pretty cool of her. So here's the box. You get the same box, the Nike Lab, or the premium box. It says Nike Dart SP, which is a special project, which is actually a hint towards my next pickup I'm doing. And these are in the Varsity Red colorway. So these are something that I really like. Uh, they're really easy to wear, really comfortable. As I, hope, I don't know if y'all can see, but I have Madden 16 going in the background. Uh, but very excited to get these in. And I heard a lot of people saying that the red's not the same in the videos or the colors or whatever. Uh, they're saying that people filter these out and it makes them look different. But honestly, I think they look the same as they do in videos, especially with like my lighting that I have going on here. This is pretty much the same color you're going to be getting. As you can see in the video, this is a little bit lighter than the rest. It's not a pink, but it's not a red red. It's more of like a, a faded red. Um, you get that clear toe cap the black Nike swoosh on the inside, black Nike swoosh on the outside and then you get the bottom which is pretty really it's actually one of the most comfortable shoes I own uh, you get the black on the back um, I don't really see why people really complain about the color saying it's filtered or whatever I mean I think it looks exactly the same you get that heel right there with the little Nike logo in it you get the Nike on the tag uh, the insoles the same as the other it's regular it's a very, very comfy shoe. I do recommend picking up a pair if you're able to. Um, I don't rock these with... I mean, I rock these with socks. I know people that don't. But I like to wear my shoes with socks just because I don't like to get them all sweaty. But very, very nice, comfy shoe. Uh, pretty excited that she got these for me. I, like I said, I've been wanting them for a while. And for her to just surprise me with it, that was really cool of her. Um, but yeah, I mean... Now it leaves me at the question, do I pick up the white pair or do I just leave it alone? Uh, honestly, it's not a big priority to me. I've been spending money crazy right now and I really, really, really need to stop because I need to be saving. But uh, I struck out on the OVOs. I struck out on the multicolors. I struck out on the New England Patriots Air Force Lunar. I mean, I'm just striking out left and right and saving all this money and then buying a big shoe. Like I just spent 545 on a pair right now, which I'll be doing a review on when it comes in. But it's just, I, I, I like buying shoes. I can't buy the shoes, and then I just have money left over, so I buy a pair of shoes. It's getting ridiculous, honestly. Um, it's getting to the point where it's like, a shoe's coming out, and you're like, oh, I wonder how much resale it's going to have to come out now, because that's what I'm going to have to pay. But luckily, I've been picking up some older shoes that aren't as expensive, and luckily, my girlfriend's cool enough to pick me up some pairs like these. Um, I plan on taking her shopping now, because she did this for me, and she can get whatever she wants, because that was really cool of her. But really excited to get these in, the Nike SP Sock Dart. Um, they don't go as much as for the fragments. The fragments go for a lot more than these, but I think these are a really cool color. Uh, especially when fall is approaching right here, you can wear these with joggers and it looks pretty cool. So, really excited to get these. Uh, and a lot of people are saying that it doesn't look like it has a lot of support because it's just a whole like uh, mesh upper. But this little heel cup that's not really attached to anything it does offer a lot of support in my opinion. And then also the strap, you're able to pull it out and lock it in wherever you want. So, support is, I think support's very much there. Uh, very nice comfortable shoe I still haven't picked up a pair of Adidas I I came this close to picking up a pair of the Adidas Easy Boost 350's the Turtle Dove colorway so close to picking it up and I went with a different special project shoe from Nike so um, hopefully I'm not disappointed in that and regret it but I think I'm good with staying with Nike for now uh, but that's it for today uh, I just did another review recently just like right before this one I'm probably going to upload these first. I still have a lot of videos that are backed up that I need to be doing, but uh, just a lot of school, and then I just got Madden 16, and there's a lot of stuff going on for me right now. 
but just recording these to knock them out and then I can upload them whenever I have time. But that's it for today, the Nike Sock Dart SP in the red colorway. Very nice clean shoe, uh, all reds in right now. Um, so I recommend picking up an all red shoe while you can because they do go quick. So thanks for watching guys, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Lord underscore Ryan and I will catch you next time.